Friends of mine, we have a new Pat McGrath launch and as always, I'm going to cover it. I don't have the products, so if you're looking for a review, I don't have that for you. I'm just talking about my thoughts, the details that I know so far, and all of the exciting stuff because Pat McGrath just revealed her newest collection, which is a collection of cheek products. And I wanna go over every color, things that I noticed are interesting and all of that good stuff. First of all, you can see the reveal right now on Pat McGrath's Instagram, gorgeous, gorgeous video. Highly recommend checking that out if you hadn't already. When she was initially teasing the launch, we all know she is overdue for some bronzer, so I was hopeful. I just know she would create the prettiest, glowiest, but still flattering bronzers ever. But when I saw the color of the packaging, I knew it wasn't gonna be a bronzer. I just had that feeling. And she teased something along the nature of everything's better in two or pairs, duo, something like that. So I had predicted blush duos, maybe highlight duos, maybe something duochrome, something of that nature. And this is kind of what I expected, but I don't know. Not fully what I expected. Not the most overwhelming thing that she's ever launched, but I overall I'm still excited for this. I think these products look beautiful. So I'm not exactly sure of the launch date. I do not believe that she has announced that quite yet. So once we know, I mean, I will let you know. It just says coming soon right now. No exact dates. So here's what she says in the initial reveal. Presenting the ultimate summer bouquet. New limited edition. Very important. It looks like these are going to be limited edition. Skin fetish divine blush duos and divine glow highlights. Each new Divine Blush Duo features a couture color coupling of feather light shades embossed with roses and sun rays that build, blend, and bloom into major multi-dimensional looks. Wear them with Pat's new High Polish Hybrid Powder Highlighters. Their Molten Luminosity blends seamlessly into the skin for a smooth, ultra-reflective, and silken feel. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. You can sign up for early VIP access as well as a 10% off discount code when it launches. So I will have the VIP sign up link down below. If you click on the page, it's gonna take you to all of the colors, all of the pricing, all of that. So overall, the new collection is going to feature six new blush duos and then four new shades of the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlight. Though I think one of them is already existing. I can't really quite keep track. The thing that I am confused about with the highlights is she says they're new in her Instagram post, but the formula already exists. So I don't know if it's just new shades or reformulation. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> How beautiful. We'll start off with the Skin Fetish Divine Blush Duos. So these are a range of limited edition Divine Blush Duos for radiant color dimension. It says that there is a demi matte side and a satin side and you can layer with the illuminator to take your glow to the heavens. The photo that they have uh, looks beautiful. The packaging of them now is pink, which I like pink, but the OG ones are purple. And it looks as though it is the exact same embossment. Just this time, one color is gonna be the flowers and then another color is going to be the sun rays. Looking at the six shades that they have available, some of the shades are a little bit closer in tone and then some are very different in tone. What I noticed right away, these blushes right here are $39. The duos are $44. I guess it makes sense that it's a little bit more expensive because it is two different colors as opposed to one. I zoomed in close, I noticed that the grams are the exact same. So both the original blushes and the duos are 9.7 grams of product and they just up the price because there's two different shades, which I mean, I can see that, right? It's a little bit more difficult to curate these blushes if there are two different shades as opposed to one. I am more attracted to the duos because I don't use that much blush anyways. I'm never gonna run through a blush. So I like the option of having the duos here and the duo colors, you guys, 
look beautiful. Let's go over them. So the first one that we have on the website is Aphrodite Amour. This is a soft coral rose with moonlit pearl. This, I feel like the tones are a little bit closer to each other compared to some of the other shades available, but you'll see it looks like the coral shade is more of the demi matte, and then you can get a glow with the rose shades. Kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury blushes in that, you know, the shimmery shade is in the center, and then the more, not matte, but the less shimmery color is in the outer part, and you can customize that. So I like that you have that option with this. You can probably get more of a matte finish and then blend in a little bit of the shimmer shade if you want to get more of a glowy cheek. So that one is very, very beautiful. Not my favorite, not the most exciting. The most exciting one to me that I can see is Venusian Sunrise. This is a soft, cool pink demi matte. So I can imagine you can mix all of the shades together or use them separately. I'm interested to see the pigmentation on this one. Really pretty. We have this almost like cooler mauve purple shade with some pink in there. Really interested to see if this is a light level of pigmentation, how that's going to translate on the cheeks, and then you have this bright rose shade that is almost a little bit coral. This one looks super interesting to me. I can definitely see mixing the two shades together to get something more of like a cool pink as they describe, but I definitely want to see how each blush looks individually on the cheek as well. So this is the color that I'm the most excited about. Then we have Divine Rose 2. Very interesting that she named a blush shade Divine Rose 2. This is a vivid coral rose with a glowing pink pearl. Huh. I had imagined that one shade would be demi matte and then one shade would be shimmery, but the way that she's describing some of these shades, that Venusian Sunrise I just talked about, she said was a demi matte, whereas this combination over here, Divine Rose 2, is a pearly shade. Really interested to see how that plays out. These tones are a little bit closer to each other, so not as interesting to me, but looks beautiful. Let me just compare it to Aphrodite Amour. Divine Rose 2 looks a little bit more muted because we have that more neutral kind of warm shade in the rays and then a brighter rose in the rose part. That one I bet you is going to be really wearable. Her divine rose shades tend to be really wearable. Let's go to the next one. These look super interesting. Cosmic Coral is a neutral coral demi matte. I love the contrast in this one. For me, this almost looks like one could be used kind of as a bronzer or something to blend into a bronzer. And then you could use the coral shade on the apple of the cheeks. I'm very intrigued by this one. You guys know I really want a bronzer from Pat McGrath. I feel like this is the closest that we're going to be able to get. So I'll be interested to see if one maybe translates a little bit more bronze. I feel like if one was to do it, it would be this one. This looks great for medium skin tones, medium to deep. The thing with Pat McGrath is her products work really great for a very wide variety of skin tones. So I think this color is going to end up being quite versatile, but that looks gorgeous and warm for the summer. This one looks interesting. Paradise Glow, a bronze sienna with golden pearl. So I can imagine this is going to give you that sun-kissed kind of look. It's going to blend in beautifully with bronzers, I would imagine. The rays definitely look like they're more of that pearl shade, but this one looks quite shimmery. Unfortunately, I can't click on the blush itself to look closer into the details, but this one looks like really warm and neutral at the same time to give a very sun-kissed look. So that looks interesting. And then the last one, definitely going to be for deeper skin tones. I'm going to pick it up, but it, it looks like it's for deeper skin tones. This is the Night Bloom shade in Amaranth Red Demi Matte. I like that there's a cooler side and then also that bright reddish orange side. Yeah, deep skin tones. I already know this is going to look beautiful on you. I am hopeful for these duos because she does have such a phenomenal formulation in the blushes. So I'll be interested to see how they differ if it is a now more shimmery formula than what she has or if she kind of took the formulas that already existed and planted them into one blush. Can't believe these are limited edition. I think these are such a great idea. They're going to be much more versatile for the consumer as well. I'm really excited about these. I am a blush girl through and through and I love the Pat McGrath blushes already so I plan on picking up 
Every single one of these, they look stunning. Let's move on to something that I am less excited about, but still excited about. So we have the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlights. It looks like she's expanding the range because quite honestly, this is a phenomenal highlight formulation. I already have it. I love it so much. I have it in a couple different shades and I think one of the shades already exists, but I think there are three new shades. So it says, this powder combines skin-loving botanicals with multi-toned micro pearls, and it has an ultra-reflective and silken feel. You heard in the Instagram bio, it says how it's kind of that like mushy formula. I believe this is the exact same formula. I wonder, are these limited edition? These might not be. She might just be expanding the range. Again, different packaging, differing from the purple packaging. So there are four shades. These are $48. What I found interesting, maybe this is just a typo, but they say that this highlighter on the website is $52. It's sold out right now, but why is that? Because it's the exact same amount of product. There's 4.6 grams, and then there's 4.6 grams as well in the new shades. So I don't know if that's a typo on the website. How much did we pay for this? Was it $48? I hope it was. And if we did pay $52 for this, now it's $48, which is even better. So just something that I noticed. I don't know if that's correct or not. But the lightest shade that we have is Lunar Allure, which is a glimmering platinum. The shade that I have right now is Golden Nectar. And this Lunar Allure definitely looks like it's going to be more for the fair skin tone, which is great because I know my fair skin tone friends definitely wanted a lighter shade. So that looks great. Then we have Golden Moonlight, which is a pale champagne gold, which I imagine will work for me as well. I don't know, does this look like golden nectar? I don't know how me holding this next to the picture is going to make a difference. They look very similar, but yeah. It looks like Golden Nectar might have a little bit more pink to it, but it's hard to tell by just the photo. I imagine this one will work for my light medium skin tone, but what I think will get a little dicey for my skin tone is Venus Nectar. I believe this shade already exists. Hopefully I'm not wrong on that, but it's a warm golden peach. It's going to be flattering on medium skin tones, I would imagine, and probably not my skin tone. And then there is Bronze Mirage, which is definitely for my medium to deep skin toned girls. Probably won't pick this shade up because I don't need it, but it's a golden bronze with copper pearl. This formula is phenomenal. You probably don't need all of the shades, but I can assure you this is one of my favorite highlight formulations ever. It does have that really creamy feel to it, but it still is a powder. It will still apply it great with a brush. It doesn't disrupt anything underneath. It adds the prettiest and smooth glow to the skin. It doesn't emphasize texture in a way that is unflattering. So I'm really, really excited to see her expand this highlight range because the highlight is just phenomenal to begin with so I think you guys will love it if you haven't yet been able to find a shade that works for you I think that this was much needed I do think she needed to expand this color range I don't think the blush duos were needed but I'm still excited about them because I am a blush fan I had hoped you know, maybe we were gonna get bronzers. We didn't. And I'm always down for a new Mothership palette. Didn't expect it. She doesn't launch those very often, but you know, maybe like a summer quad, something like that. This collection, I don't know how summery it feels to me, but nonetheless, I am excited for it. I think the blushes look beautiful and I'm excited about the highlighter expansion as well. Let me know if you are going to be picking up anything from their launch. Is there anything that has caught your eye? What colors are you into and what are your thoughts on this launch? And what do you think she should have launched? Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I absolutely love talking about Pat McGrath. I have a ton of Pat McGrath videos on my channel if you haven't already checked them out. So yeah, we talk about Pat McGrath a lot here. So thank you guys so much for liking this this video and being subscribed to my channel. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious about my makeup look, I did film this for my YouTube membership. It's called Beauty Buffs. If you want to join, there is a join button down below. It's just exclusive for those members. So if you are a part of Beauty Buffs, expect this tutorial to be up very soon. But if you aren't able to join completely fine, I will have all of the products that I use in this look down below if you want to check that out. Okay, for realsies, make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Bye.